Masha Amini did not die in vain. Rewriting the script of desire for women, for life, for freedom. I am Christina Tehel. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Goffney or Barbara Marks Hubbard woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. In September, a 22-year-old Iranian woman named Masha Amini was killed in custody of the morality police, sparking the largest mass demonstrations in Iran for years. How do we honor Masha Amini as she and understand in a profound and radical way what's actually happening? There's a fundamentalist totalitarianism that seeks to eradicate all scripts of desire. When all scripts of desire are eradicated, Masha Amini is murdered because her hijab is tilted and because the young men who murdered her are shamed in the very depth and core of their being. We shine the light of first principles and first values, of the new story of value, of cosmoerotic humanism on this moment to participate directly in the evolution of the source code, the evolution of consciousness and culture. Masha Amini gave her life as she. The murder of Eros underlies the murder of Masha Amini in Iran. All ethical breakdown derives ultimately from the prior breakdown of Eros itself. Eros, what the interior sciences called the goddess, what David Bohm, the physicist student of Einstein called the implicate order what others have simply called infinite reality. Masha Amini didn't die in vain. To Masha Amini's brother, father, mother, whose hearts are ripped out, and to the fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters of every protester who has been killed in Iran in these weeks and in previous years, were in devotion to you. You're our heroes, our teachers. We gather around the world sparked by your spirit, which is the spirit of she, sparked by the flame of eros and ethics that lit up your heart, that now flame as unimaginable beauty and are wrapping our world. We feel the demand of the past that turns to us and passes us the baton and says, all of our unfinished business, it depends on us. We are trembling with joy, with ecstatic urgency at the privilege of stepping in in this moment of history. To live for, for the great eros of reality, intimate with reality, with her joy and her suffering, that everything we do is for that great coming together. Because reality is Eros, moving towards its own evolution to ever deeper levels of the good, the true, and the beautiful. We understand that every failure of ethic, every murder, every contraction, every pettiness, every deceit, all acting out, all violation, all of it is a direct result of the collapse of Eros. And the only way to reclaim ethos, to reclaim goodness, kindness, sensitivity, radical empathy, open heart, the sacredness of shared joy and tears and the delight and wild gratitude for each other, for our eyes, for our hearts, for our souls, for our embodiment, 
for the wonder of being. The only way to reclaim that is to reclaim and know the wonder of being an embodied human being. A unique incarnation of Eros, fully alive, fully awake, wildly good and wildly free, rewriting the script of desire for women, for life, for freedom. To reclaim Eros in its deepest expression means to reclaim Eros in its most profound, urgent, ecstatic meaning as the very source code of cosmos. Mm -hmm.